So often when we're looking at adding trees into our landscape, we're curious about what those trees are gonna look like when they're mature. We're here at the Margaret Annis Boys Centennial Arboretum, which is at the Bickham Rudkin Park in Edmond. And Brian Dorder, you're joining us again with Oklahoma City Community Foundation Thank because y'all helped make this happen. Well, you know, these are opportunities that you just don't run into all the time. Here was a city that had a piece of property they were gonna develop out as a park. Here was Miss Boys, who Margaret Ann's Boys had left her estate to the Community Foundation for beautification of public space. And we had that chance to turn around and really work with the urban foresters, with the parks department and all, and start putting this together. And this was 10 years ago, and it's doing exactly what we wanted it to do. You, you've talked a lot with us about trees that are being planted mm -hmm. throughout city parks. And as you mentioned, this has been going for 10 years. So we're starting to get some we're size starting, on these And you these know, trees. a lot of times when they'll talk about in landscape architecture school, start drawing them that are seven to 10 years old. Well, this you can start seeing seven to 10 years. And, and and they have the labeling on them and fantastic trails that go around so connectivity these are some of those amenities on parks and trails and all and people can take this home to their backyard they can say i really want to see a cedar elm or i want to see a bald cypress and yeah. they can know how large it is and this is seven years old or ten years old so it's a great asset in many many ways and you also have power lines like so many of That's us right. do and and you've learned how to you know, right. mitigate that. Yeah, so on the south end of this park, there were major power lines. So all the trees planted, there were 275 trees that we helped fund here, and the trees in those were what we call our utility trees. They were trees that should mature under, under what the utility lines and not compensate you. You know, we have a policy at the Community Foundation, we never are going to plant a tree that we anticipate in any way will interfere with the power line and that's just a good good practice but sometimes you need to kind of lead by example and this was an opportunity we saw well you can see a lot of people are out here using this yeah every morning every day every night and then when you sit there and you say right south of it is oklahoma christian college that has a fantastic trail system that links back to oklahoma city trails and then through the park it goes on to the Edmond Trails. So this is exactly what we're always looking for, that park, that connectivity, maximum benefit to the community. Another green belt that's being Fantastic. established, yes. is Ryan Auctioner, who is the green infrastructure planner for the city of Edmond, and you're responsible for maintaining this park. Can you tell us a little bit about what's gone into this arboretum? That's right. Well, um, in addition to the tree plantings, the hundreds of trees out here, we've also enhanced that uh, user experience by coming out with the tree signage um, and those sorts of things so they can have a visual of what these trees look like. Yeah, the signs are great and they give you a lot of information about that tree as well. I mean, it's nice for a homeowner to be able to come out and see exactly what they might be getting when they buy something at the nursery. We're very fortunate to have that opportunity here. You can read a lot about trees online, but to come out and experience them and see how they actually work here in Oklahoma is a great asset. Yeah, and so the rest of the park though, there's a lot of other assets to this park as well. You've got a fishing pond and the dog park. Can you yeah. talk a little bit about those other features? Sure, we see people here using this park for all sorts of different opportunities from the very popular dog park to the Xeriscape demonstration garden. Uh, further down, we've got a fishing pond. Um, all that's connected back here to the Arboretum through this trail system that we have throughout the park. And of course, we have traditional playgrounds over on the east side of the park. And for those who aren't familiar with Zero Escape, that is drought tolerant gardening. So not only do you get your information about your trees, but you can also find those plants that do well here in Oklahoma. Absolutely. Very uh, Oklahoma focused on what we have to display here. With low water. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, can you, ha you have a kind of an open prairie a little bit between the Arboretum and the other garden. Can you talk a little bit about that? We do. We have an open prairie here that uh, when this was established, it was a lot of pasture land, essentially. And there were some great um, uh, ecosystems of native grass throughout here. And as, that, as this area has been established for other uses, 
those ecosystems kind of change. So it's been a learning experience on how do we manage those to, to maintain that type of ecosystem that existed here before. Because you'll notice it's different than most parks. I mean, it's not completely mowed. You actually have some areas that are a little more natural, but yet they're highly maintained still. I mean, absolutely. A lot of maintenance goes into that natural look. <laughs> Definitely. Well, it looks beautiful out here. Thank you. Thank you. Our pleasure. Oklahoma Gardening would like to thank the Oklahoma City Community Foundation for the work that it does throughout Oklahoma and its support of our program. Since 1969, the Oklahoma City Community Foundation has worked with donors to create charitable funds and bring together and empower partnerships that benefit our community, both now and into the future. For more information about programs and opportunities for giving, visit the Foundation's website, OCCF.org. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussions.